A modern marvel not to be messed with. An absolute force of nature. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring from Lagos, Nigeria, weighing in at 400 pounds, the Nigerian giant, Omos! Just look at the size of the Nigerian giant, a man who weighs over 400 pounds. Yeah, Omos has proven to be too big for just one brand. And it seems like he's only getting bigger. We are about to witness destruction on a whole other level. And that destruction is Omas's idea of fun. It's Trick Willie. And his opponent from Columbia, South Carolina, weighing in at 205 pounds, Trick Williams. So much swagger, so much confidence. Williams sees himself as the next big thing. And he's not the only one who does. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, one thing you cannot do is let Omas overwhelm you. Well, you're right about that, Saxton. Facing the Nigerian giant is like trying to topple a skyscraper. The Nigerian giant, Omas, looking to continue on his path of destruction here tonight. An absolute steamroller. Omas has laid ruin to every superstar that has dared step into the squared circle with him. I can't even imagine what it must be like to endure the punishing style of the seven foot three giant. Yeah, Byron, I don't even like when he gets too close to the announce table. And he's face to face with Trick Williams. Trick has stuck out as a talent since he first landed in WWE. At times, though, it seems like he's still being overlooked. I expect tonight we'll see him try to put an end to that. Big boot! He gets out of the way. Dominating shoulder tackle. Stomp after stomp after stomp. And if the first stomp doesn't send you... Playing possum! Whoa! Playing possum! Immediately powers out. He is still very much in this. Line. Williams looking unable to get a leg up in this match. Big man offense from Omas. Oh my. He's got him down. Is this it? And he gets the shoulder up before two. Staying in this one. Corey Trick Williams is still fairly new to WWE. Which part of his game should be his focus here as he continues to develop? Well, there's a lot of natural talent and athleticism in Williams. It won't solve for everything, but it should be able to get him out of most jams while he builds up his body of work. And Steph delivers the inverted DDT. Punch right in the head. Oh, the face has been planted. Spine buster. He takes control. Strong right form. Vicious, downright savage club right there. Oh, and a right hand for good measure. And here we go now. Elbow drop. Oh, belly stop. Oh. And Omas struggling a bit. And that'll show people what Williams is made of. Working the midsection there. He got whipped into that corner. Williams gets countered. Has him up for the power slam. Counted into an inverted DDT. Oh, right in the face. 
My God. Top rope, putting it all on the road. From the top, through the air, and connects. Big time risk pays off. The daredevil in you comes out when you take risks like that. Plants him. Nicely done. And Williams is keeping the match in his cover. Just after two. Close call. That was almost lights out. <laughs> Does he get him here? Man, absolutely exhausted. Put everything he had into the match here tonight. And Oh, look who's here. I wonder what this man wants. You can feel the tensions rising. Michael, Corey, time to get your swag up. The following contest is scheduled for one thumb. Making his way to the ring, representing the Street Profits from Chicago, Illinois, weighing in at 232 pounds, Montez Ford. One of the purest athletes in all of WWE, Montez Ford drops jaws each and every time he hits the ring. Ford has some of the most unbelievable hang time you will ever see. He is an insanely gifted athlete. With his athleticism and undeniable star power, there's no doubt the sky's the limit for Ford. Unstoppable enthusiasm for competition. I cannot wait to see Tez compete. Byron, why can't you be this cool? I thought I was. One of the most intense competitors around. And his opponent, Representing DIY from Milwaukee, Wisconsin, weighing in at 201 pounds, Tommaso Ciampa! A multiple-time NXT champion and has also held the NXT Tag Titles. And more main roster accolades undoubtedly on the way. The sadistic and vicious Tommaso Ciampa. Nothing has ever seemed to cheer him up or mellow him out. Ciampa was once known as the Sicilian psychopath. And when you get a nickname like that, I don't think your personality really ever changes all that much. Yeah, there's an edge to Ciampa in the ring that I don't think can ever be dulled. And he better want the smoke because we know for damn sure that Montez Ford does. 
retaliates. Left by the turnbuckles. And Ford had it scouted. Escaped just in time. You saw the original. The director's cut. Oh, man. Oh, kick connects. Measuring. Oh, face stop. He foiled that attempt. on Ford's mistake. Boom! And the smile being wiped right off Ford's face there. What rage from Ciampa being shown. One thing I love about Tommaso Ciampa is his competitive fire. He wants to win at any cost, and it can make him an intimidating opponent. If he can keep that fire burning throughout this match, yeah. I think he'll have a good shot at claiming victory. I think you're right, Corey. Ciampa's fire can also manifest in the form of some vindictive and savage attacks. knee strike oh, oh, on the jaw. Float over. Oh. Into a DDT. Oh my God, that's got to hurt. Big forearm. Muscled up with authority. Sit out power bomb. And shoulders are down. And he manages to kick out in one. Just kicking out at one takes a lot in a match like this. Oh, what a clubbing blow. Going right after the neck. Neck breaker. Look at this. Just stop after stop after stop. You want to control the tempo. You want to dictate the pace. That right there is how you do it. Here we go. Suicide dive. That's finding any which way to topple the competition. Hurling your own body like that is insane. Oh, God, that'll rearrange your skull. Uh-oh. How's that for a counter? Back and forth from these competitors. And he throws the opposition back into the ring. Champa lining him up from the top. That one fails to land. Missed the mark. Big four. There he goes, right into the corner. Flash. Impressive. And he goes for the pin. Kick out close to three. You have to think this match is starting to take its toll. Oh, he's been waiting for it the whole time. Well, he uh, got kicked in the midsection a number of times. I hope he doesn't have a broken rib. Uh, that's certainly possible. No doubt about it. The superstar is in a great deal of pain, struggling to catch his breath. I mean, I, I'm honestly surprised he's walking out here on his own strength. He is hurt. is here. Quite the impressive 
young talent. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making her way to the ring from Melbourne, Australia, Indy Hartwell. Pretty cool fact here. Indy began her in-ring career at just 19 years old. Or how about this, Michael? Indy Hartwell made her NXT and main roster debuts by the age of just 23. I had my first match at 16. Where are my flowers? Why does no one talk about me? You guys are biased. Oh, get ready, guys. There ain't nobody meaner than Tamina. And from Pacific Islands, Tamina! Tamina spent the last decade and a half beating people up and making a lot It'll of money. Don't worry. No woman wants to see her name next to Tamina's when they get to the arena. Listen, there ain't nobody meaner than Tamina, and nobody tougher either. Tamina set for action looks more than focused on this matchup. She said it herself, Cole, nobody's meaner than Tamina. This is a superstar who does everything with rage in mind. And that mean streak has inflicted a lot of pain on the women's locker room. I'm sure Tamina plans to inflict that pain here tonight. And indie wrestling is more than ready to throw down. Ready to have some respect put on her name. Ready to push her own limits. And ready to go. Thunderous power slam. Oh, a handful of hair. Dropped her like she was nothing. Oh, stomping away. And Indy is looking a little more battered after sustaining that attack, guys. Yeah, Tamina displaying a higher level of aggression. Oh, and she got out of there. Oh, Tamina gets cut off. What does Indy Hartwell have to do here tonight to leave a lasting impression, Corey? I think she'll net the cover, shoulders down. She overcomes the pinfall attempt. Not even a near fall there. Right to the spine. The counter from Tamina. Oh no, trapping the arm. A vicious stomps to the hand. No respect being shown whatsoever with those stomps. She keep her down. Strong kick out there. Impressive to not even allow a two count at this juncture. Just cranking the head. Dangerous position here, guys. Oh, no, 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 Back no. Back suplex. Back suplex on the apron. After that attack on the apron, there is no way we're seeing them leave this arena without medical assistance. She's taking a beating here. And hanging tough, but beginning to show some wear and tear. Might want to think about picking up the pace a bit. Oh, with the boot. Oof. Boot, what a kick. Target acquired and destroyed. Ow! Foot, meet back. You can tell she wants to put an end to this. To the sky. Oh, the crossbody for the top. Got all of it. Oh my goodness, dribbling the opponent's head like a basketball.
Indy Hartwell falling short tonight, taking the loss. Tamina standing tall. Message received. No one's safe from feeling the rage of Tamina. The most extravagant, flamboyant, and tastiest team in all of WWE. Pretty deadly has arrived. Say it with me, gentlemen. Yes, boy. The following contest is a tag match set for one fall. On the way to the ring, at a combined weight of 357 pounds, the NXT UK Tag Team Champions, Elton Prince. Kit Wilson, Elton Prince, two exceptional in-ring talents with exceptionally inflated egos. Jealousy is not a good color on you, Saxton. Despite their outfits and antics, this is a highly competent and accomplished tag team. Hopefully they can focus on their in-ring work here tonight. They've shown their focus every single match, Saxton. Pretty deadly are everything their name says they are and more. We've got a storm of aggression on the horizon. Here comes Mark Coffey. Mark Coffey's the epitome of brute strength and uses that to mark his territory. And their opponents, first, representing Gallus from Glasgow, Scotland, weighing in at 238 pounds, Mark Coffey! Mark Coffey knows how to hold it down. An NXT UK Heritage Cup winner. An NXT and NXT UK Tag Team Champion. Mark drops whoever comes his way. And just think of the trail of decimated bodies Mark spread across the world in the name of Gallus. Mark Coffey is a vicious brawler who is not intimidated by any opponent or type of match. Mark Coffey's all about mauling you on his way to the top of the mountain, and I'm here for it. Grayson Waller, one of the most annoying competitors in all of WWE. I think you meant to say coolest. No, I meant annoying. And from Sydney, Australia, weighing in at 206 pounds, Grayson Waller! Well, Grayson Waller never met a superstar or rule that he got along with. Certainly has his own way of doing things, and it's risen his stock very quickly here in WWE. Now a 
we'll see if Grayson Waller can back up all his self-generated hype. Classy, posh, debonair, I could go on. Show some respect for pretty deadly, ladies and gentlemen. Kit Wilson, Elton Prince, two young men from across the pond who consider themselves a class above the rest of their peers. Honestly, they're both imbeciles most of the time, but even I can't deny how talented they are in the ring when they're not making fools of themselves, that is. This could be a night of tag team action at its finest. Yeah, you can't ask for a much better matchup than the one in front of us, gentlemen. Elbow drop. Tag is made. in close quarters, and look at these lefts. Now, this is just a ruthless attack. Oh, such aggression. I think rage took over in that moment. Nothing but blind rage. And that was obviously not a part of Mark's strategy. Getting him into the corner. Excellent tag team continuity. Those two are in such a cohesive rhythm out there. It's like playing jazz, but using your opponent as the drum. And into the count. Two count, and he kicks out at two. Just barely, but it counts. Loading up, full speed ahead. A hip up. attack in the corner. He's tagging out. And that's going to jam Grayson's offense. Oh, man. Ouch. Getting set up for something in the corner. Saw that one coming, took advantage. Answer after answer for each other's offense here. Knife edge chop echoing through the arena. Partner tags in. Oh, that was inventive. Basement drop kick. You fire a shot like that to completely immobilize your opponent. Oh, Fujiwara armbar applied. Getting the upper hand by taking away your opponents. Brought down with the bulldog. Russian leg sweep. Extending their opponent's arm out. Oh, man, leg drop arm breaker. Ooh. Slam the door yet. Ooh. Tags him in. Ah, takedown. And now punches right. Boom, boom. Persistent barrage. And with an onslaught of strikes That's like that, it's clear they have nothing but punishment on their mind. And tag. He did it. Let's go. Trying to fight their way out of harm's way. Elbows to the jaw. Snapmare takedown. Oh, my! Single leg drop kick. Catches the kick. Spectacular counter into a dragon screw. And he sends him into the corner. Oh, targeting the arm. This has got to hurt. Trying to take away that grip, that range of motion on that end. The Muay Thai training really showing off here. Every strike more devastating than the last. My God, enough! Tagged in. Got the tag, got the tag! Ah, oh, takedown, and now punches right! 
vicious, aggressive attacks. And any one of those shots could take you out for good. Forks the move by throwing an elbow into the midsection. He's turning the tables. That blow might be a test to Kit Wilson's toughness. Man, this is about as close as you can cut it. They're playing with fire here. And he gets delivered back into the ring. Put into the corner now. Monkey flip! Tagging his partner in now. is an uppercut. The better part of Valor. Close line. Good Lord. So effective. Elton creates an opening for himself. Now ah, front neck lock and knee lift after knee lift. The knees at... Will. Bulldog plants him. In off the tag. Basement drop kick. Oh, this is just too far. Get some control in there. Oh, look at this aggression, just oh. pure brutality. Oh, easy. And the full on smash. Trying to wrestle free their opponent's arm, has the arm trapped. Goodness gracious. Kick to the lower back. The damage he's taken is starting to pile up. Yeah, Prince came prepared for this matchup. Watch out! Oh, great teamwork. That'll crack a rib. Control. Shut up, Byron. Into the corner he goes. A perfectly placed target. Kick gets reversed. Wow. Right hand and then a somersault. Look prettier. For the win. Two. Kicks out. He still has life. This is no time to hesitate. You can feel the end coming. You can see the toll this match has taken on these competitors. The pain to look on their... Grayson Waller setting up his opponent, headed to the outside. A rolling thunder stunner. Nothing Wilson can do now. There's two! And he's still in the game. I thought once he executed that, it was good night. You have to wonder, how much more can he take? What's the tally on how many times we thought this match was coming to an end? I can't count anymore. Oh, using the top rope as an advantage. You ain't cheating, you ain't trying. Really just laying it in. Just won't give up. Oh, what a counter. Here we go again. Spine Buster. Wilson was right on target. Cover. Man. Grueling matchup. And look who's here. Ah, oh, some taunting going on. Future matchup, perhaps? I'd say that's a highly likely possibility.
Just look at that face. A man possessed. The following contest is scheduled for one thumb. Introducing first, representing the Alpha Academy from Superior, Wisconsin, weighing in at 330 pounds, Otis. Oh, some would say Otis used to be an inspiration. Now he could not be less interested in the WWE Universe. He may not be interested, but Otis is inspired. Inspired to annihilate you, to end you with one move. That's the kind of power possessed by this man. Man, Otis is an amazing mass of humanity. He could probably crush any man in that ring. Well, this man looks to massacre who's ever in front of him. Class is in session. Master Gable has arrived. And his partner, representing the Alpha Academy from Minneapolis, Minnesota, weighing in at 202 pounds, Chad Gable! Chad Gable, proven ability to teach and lead as the head of the Alpha Academy. Chad Gable always competes at the highest level, both mentally and physically. Oh, Saxton, stop sucking up. Gable will never thank, thank you. you. Accompanied by Jinder Mahal at a combined weight of 572 pounds, Veer Mahan and Sangha Indus Sheer. The WWE Universe more than ready to see this one start. This is going to be good. The Alpha Academy in action here tonight. I'm still not sure if these guys are as important and educated as they think they are. Look at what these competitors have forged themselves into. Think about the hours, maybe even days, spent in the gym to get where they are. Alpha Academy is the paragon of wrestling teams. And it's less about ability and more about attitude, Corey. I just have a hard time taking them seriously, and so do their opponents. Yeah, but they've got Indus Share casting a long shadow on them from across the ring. Absolute behemoths looking to lay waste to anyone who stands in their way. Yeah, they made it clear they want nothing but the top prizes in the tag team division. There's the takedown. Oh, Veer counters. Vulnerable situation for him. Great counter. Oh, this is gonna be bad. This is gonna be really bad. Nasty! The hardest 
part of the ring. Many a match has turned on that kind of contact with the apron. This could be a key moment in this contest. Pulverizing the arm is a great way to create an advantage, basically forcing your opponent to fight one-handed. A discus clothesline. Decapitating. The intensity of this version of Otis. The true version of Otis. No dances, just rage. Placed in the corner. Here's a tag. Opponent off the ropes. Double big back body drop. The communication between these two is evident by that move. Come on now. What is this man doing out? He should revoke his license for this. A nice shot by Otis. Ooh, right to the arm. Clean tag for his partner. The jaw. Ugh, what a shot. Across the top rope. What a hot shot. From the first rope. My goodness, what a cold red. Resentment building with each stop there. He went right into that turnbuckle. Look at this going right after the left arm. Gotta hurt. That arm's gonna be sore for a while. Could affect all their offense. Snake eyes. Gable was not prepared for this. Guided down with force. Just deadlifting their opponent. Tossing their opponent like they're nothing. I've seen Saxon thrown out of a few local bars like that before. Oh, please don't remind me, Corey. Headlock applying a nice short jab to the bridge of the nose. And Saga was on the wrong end there. That one was worthy of adding to the Alpha Academy syllabus next semester. Well, that's one way to seize control of a match. Change the location to the ringside area. Up the turnbuckles. What's he going to do? Side headlock applied. Spinning around. Does the official not see him removing the turnbuckle pad? Keep your voice down. Into the corner. This can't be good. Face first. Uh-oh. Gable on the receiving end. What's coming next? Taking their time. Oh, punch to the gut. He thinks he has it. But the ref isn't even paying attention. Never mind what you're doing. Make the count. Gable quickly getting the shoulder up. Just using the adrenaline to stay in the match. We're no closer to a winner just yet.
Draped across the top rope. Climbing four. Oh, full speed using their body as a weapon. He's been placed in the corner now. Crushed in the corner. The Lion beginning his feast. Cervical clutch applied. Oh, body is... And there's the save. Tagged into the action. Oh, man, he has fired up now. Reversal. Can they go on the attack? Ooh, Vicious right forearm. Oh, targeting the arm. This has got to hurt. Laying into the arm big time. Caught him right in the jump. Grabbing hold of Sanga. Saga's in deep peril here. Cover! Oh, man, he is more than fired up right now. Catches the kick. Tandem offense on the horizon here. Set up for a sidewalk slam. Connecting with the elbow drop. No doubt. Sanga ended this. No, stops the count at two. I didn't think we'd see a kick out there. Uh, grabbing the arms and just rapid stops. And one more for good measure. The heart of these competitors is showing through tonight. The adrenaline is coursing through their veins. And Otis possibly feeling like he's the one who's been hit by a bulldozer there. These two teams have gone to war, Cole. Of course, they're going to wind up with a few battle scars. He's positioning himself, closing in. Blast off. Power slam puts a quick stop to the offense. Oh, that might have just broken something. Oh, look at this. Just cranking the head. That's got to hurt. Cranking the head. Oh, just deadlifting their opponent. And tossing their opponent like they're nothing. Oh, look at this. Out to the apron. Oh, my goodness. Are you kidding me? A back suplex right out of the apron. Setting up for something here. Uh oh! No! This is right for him. This match is spilled out to the ringside area, and as we can see, tension's really running high now. Uh, yeah, we should probably clear the way, guys. And he tosses it back in now. Ooh, that hurt right in the kidney. Golly. And the pressure of Sanga continues to mount. Can Sanga recover from this adversity? And that looked like a rag doll being thrown around. Brought out of ringside and back to the mat. Oh, man. Ooh. Raped across the top rope. momentum. Big knee. And right between the shoulder blades. Oh, and a stop. Oh, no. I got right to the gut. Into the cover.
victory for this tag team here tonight. The power into Cher wields inside the ring is clear to see. I'm sure they're happier about this win than they look. The It Couple is here. The most iconic husband and wife team in all of WWE, according to them. The following contest is scheduled for one thumb, making his way to the ring, accompanied by Maurice from Hollywood, California, weighing in at 221 pounds. Miz and Maurice are one of the most dominant pairs the entertainment world has ever seen. In the ring, on TV, on the red carpet, they are always a force to be reckoned with. They certainly do know how to keep themselves in front of the camera and soak up the spotlight. No denying that, Maurice and the Miz have made themselves inescapable. I know he's one of the toughest competitors around, but you're gonna have to raise it to a whole new level with the Celtic Warrior. This superstar better be prepared for a healthy dose of physicality in this one. Guys, shut up. I got this. It's fight night! And his opponent, representing the Brawling Brutes from Dublin, Ireland, weighing in at 267 pounds, the Celtic Warrior, That smash mouth, in your face style, that's what the Brutes are all about. What they do in that ring is a typical Saturday night at the pub. So that should give you an idea of the kind of dudes the Brutes are. The Brutes look more than ready to compete. Corey, what's your analysis? Banger. If there's one thing Sheamus has made clear in his time here in WWE, it's that he loves to fight. No kidding, Cole. Red hot temper, ferocious offensive style. Sheamus never backs down from a fight and has certainly never been in a fight that he didn't think he could win. Well, I'm not so sure about all that, but I am sure that we're going to see a fight here tonight. And then you have The Miz, who is probably more concerned with protecting his moneymaker than he is actually competing in this match. Oh, what a shot. Biased Saxton strikes again. The Miz is as successful as he is for a reason. He knows what he's doing both in and out of the ring. Like his music says, the A-lister came to play. Remember that. And a series of vicious stomps. 
Each of those boots seem to get heavier with each blow. on top of reversal. Big clothesline. This one is headed outside, guys. Powerless position to be in right now. Whoa, just bounced that face like a basketball. And they just busted out an impactful maneuver. He's lost some of his win now. Yeah, as Sheamus was clearly bringing the fight to him there. Maybe not. Two count at this point has to be frustrating. Snapping the neck. Corey, we know Sheamus loves the methodical style. If there's one thing Sheamus can do, it's brawl. The Celtic Warriors more than happy to oblige going toe to toe with anyone and turn their body into a heavy bag. Kick by the Miz. DDT. Return fire on the Celtic Warrior. And gets tossed back into the mat. Look at the confidence from the Miz. What the heck is this manager doing looking out of the ring? She can't be acting like this. He is delivering elbow after elbow. Big boat. He can end it here. In a kick out. Not even close. from Sheamus. Foot to the belly. Measured stomp right to the gut. Oh, and in the chest as well. Oh, man, that was nasty. Uses the edge of the knee. Would you look at this? She is removing the turnbuckle pad now. Big boot. Left hook. Oh, I had that well scouted. I don't know if this is a good idea. This is going to take more strength than he has left. A lift up. Lift up. And the Miz looks to be out of sorts following that hit. That's the kind of smash mouth off. Uh-oh. Miz with awesome awareness. Up going. He's taking the fight to Sheamus, close to conquering the Celtic Warrior. Connected with the knee. Oh, just deadlifting their opponent and tossing them aside. There's a lot of hard ways to land, but that might be the hardest. Uh-oh. Dropping the elbow right on the knee. No doubt, Sheamus ended this. Hit. Thank goodness. Oh, man. And Sheamus is countered. Face first in the turnbuckle. Punch lands. Tag with a punch. Close fist connects. to the arm. Hyper extend your elbow. Insulting. Looking for a high risk move. Getting up but doesn't have a clue what's coming at him. Flying. Stops the attack with a hit to the gut. Solid punch. the attack. Good luck stopping 
Sheamus now. It's like battling a truck. Sheamus looks possessed. Wait, 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 wait. He kicks out at two. Somehow, some way, he is still. Sheamus, uh oh, Sheamus has him all. Look at the power of the Celtic Warrior. Sheamus, this loss is going to add more fuel to his fire. crowd is singing for Seth freaking Rollins. The best dressed man in WWE and a pretty darn good conductor too. The following contest is a triple threat match. Making his way to the ring from Davenport, Iowa. Weighing in at 217 pounds. The NXT champion Seth freaking Rollins. He's held the Intercontinental, the U.S., the WWE, and the Universal titles each on multiple occasions. Truly one of the greats of the era. And the WWE Universe serenading Rollins with his battle hymn. Time for Seth freaking Rollins to conduct another masterpiece.
the lone wolf about to prey on Monday Night Raw. about Baron Corbin are paid for by friends of Corbin. That's inaccurate. Corbin doesn't pay me anything to be his friend. Accomplished so much in his young career. Won the Money in the Bank ladder match. Former Golden Gloves boxing champion, NFL offensive lineman, turned champion in WWE. Jey Uso is here and he is a new man. So in something of a new position on his own. Some trepidation, but also some freedom. Well, as much as he gained from the bloodline and his brother, becoming the main event is something Jay needs to do on his own. And Jay is more than equipped to do it. See Jey Uso yeet some fools. No yeet. We don't do that, Saxton. Especially I do. you. No. Yeet. Yeet. WWE's top competitors ready for this triple threat match. Ready for the challenge, we see Seth Rollins, Baron Corbin, and Jey Uso. Always a feeling out process in the early goings of a triple threat. You want to gauge your distance. You want to know just how much real estate you can have to yourself. You don't want to be the first one targeted because things can snowball against you quickly. There was no issue with that attack. Hey, sometimes desperate times call for desperate measures. Who are we to judge? Agility! shot now this is the kind of match where you can really push the bounds of damage you can inflict i'm not saying that a no disqualification match should mean carte blanche to do whatever you want to someone but it does provide an opening to be creative in your offense so be creative boom a forearm smash versatility from rollins 
back into the ring. A series of effective kicks. Oh, caught him. Think about the agility it took to get that leg all the way up like that. And this might not have a pleasant ending. Ooh, right to the throat. And main event James so isn't looking so big after that hit there. Samoa drop. Strong kick. My goodness. Arm sister, look at these series of boots. Just never had a chance to block any of those. Oh! Right across the throat. Picture perfect drop kick. What a punch! Assaulting the knee with purpose. Just doing anything they can to chip away at the base. Had that one scouted. Counter after counter. Statement DDT. And he goes for the pin. And he powers out. He got close there. It could be do or die time. Tossed into the corner. From the second rope. Goodness, what a sunset flip. Directly to the gut. Rollins with an homage to the game. Pedigree. The pin's broken up. Strong forearm. And wait, 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 wait. And he breaks up the count. And he heads out of the ring. No count outs, no worries. Super kick! Seth Rollins just sitting back and degrading his opponent. Slim blade! <laughs> Rollins just a step too slow. Cracked around into a neck breaker. And he gets set back into the ring. Here he comes! Great strength being shown here. Down on the windpipe. Shifts it back onto him. It's Mark. Ouch. Big forearm. No telling what's underneath the ring tonight. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh. Shoulders down. And there's the breakup. Just in the nick of time.
There's some shock in the arena after that kick out. Ooh Jake. Will Jake take advantage? That could have been it right there. Look at Jay, his lights are off. Got him set up in the corner of the ring. He turns it around. Into the gut by Rollins. Up high. The stop. It is all Rollins now. Pot right in the stomach creates the separation. Uh-oh, hazardous part of town here on the apron. Back suplex, spine crushing. And Corbin is still as destructive as ever at this point. I think Corbin has a sight set on the finish line and is going to run anyone over to get there. This has been an absolutely brutal display of will from these men. You can see their flames starting to flicker. And it's only a matter of time before one goes out. Great in separation here. He was waiting for him to make his move. And he tosses him back in now. Single leg drop kick caught him. Look at this. Suicide die. Whatever it takes to win. That's playing fast and loose with your own body. That is weaponizing your body. That's what that was. Just mounted with punches. And not, oh, a nasty stop to finish it off. A forearm right to the jaw. Someone's about to take a nap. What? Baseman Haymaker take a nap. He climbs into the ring. Not the position you want to be in right now. Lands face first. He's returning fire. superstars involved in this hard-hitting triple threat. There's a reason this is called a triple threat match, gentlemen, and these three superstars just showed us all why.
A group to be feared, the Judgment Day. Yeah, a ruthless, cutthroat collective. Making her way to the ring, representing the Judgment Day from Adelaide, Australia, the NXT UK Women's Champion and the WWE Women's World Champion, Rhea Ripley! <laughs> the Judgment Day growing more dominant every single night, and their accolades grow with every match. Now, this is a group that's almost impossible to prepare for. The Judgment Day plans for every scenario, always having each other's back. Well, they create chaos. And Judgment Day thrives in chaos. Just look at the Judgment Day, powerful, dominant, and ready to unleash their anger. Expect no mercy, no concern for their opponent's well-being. Well, that's how the Judgment Day conducts their business. They want power at any cost. Oh boy, guys, she is the most beautiful woman in all of WWE. And her beauty is only matched by her success in the ring. And from Staten Island, New York, the most beautiful woman in all of WWE, Carmella. Carmella proven herself as one of the most talented in-ring competitors but according to Carmella and Corey she's also the best looking according to many people Cole you clearly just don't speak to the right people well Byron told me she wasn't best looking why are you being a snitch Michael would you take the advice on whiskey from someone who's never had a drink I don't think so gone are the days of moonwalking the trash talking remains and let's be honest I think we were all a little bit over the dance break thing. Hey, I miss those dance breaks. You're the one. Rhea Ripley is a competitor who wears her reputation on her sleeve. An absolute cutthroat grappler with a bad attitude. She's always ready to ruthlessly deal with anyone that gets in her way. In Rhea's eyes, her opponent tonight is just another hurdle for her to smash through. And she'll be facing off against the always opportunistic Carmella. And that is a backhanded way of saying that Carmella has one of the best in-ring IQs in the business. Come on, Saxton, I thought you were better than that. Wait, actually, no, I didn't. You can see that each strike drained their opponent's energy. Carmella fell right into that one. Ooh, nasty kick. Firm control. Oh, what a boot. And a slap, too. Nothing was being held back with each of those strikes. Kick to the stomach puts an end to that. Hammerlock. Hammerlock. He is getting rid of the turnbuckle pad. Don't say that too loud, Saxon. You might get caught. She's fighting back. Carmella might need to start leaning on her in-ring IQ after an attack like that. 
No secret that Rhea Ripley possesses terrifying strength. Does that give her an upper hand tonight? Absolutely. Rhea's ability to overpower the competition and throw him around the ring gives her an instant advantage. If she can get control over her opponent, this could be a quick match. Taking it to the floor, what's she gonna do? Whoa! Tossing their opponent like they're nothing. <laughs> I honestly can't believe we just saw a human being tossed like that. Oh, plants her opponent with a DDT. And Carmella just made her opponent look absolutely foolish with that offense. Fires back with a crucial elbow. The referee continues the count, may call it soon. Rhea Ripley turning up the intimidation factor. Look at this, going right after the left arm. Gotta hurt. Focusing on a body part, picking it apart. The arm's as good of a place to focus as any. In third and Alabama. Can she score the pick? Sends off the three count. If she keeps the pressure on, the next one might do it. for Ripley. Damn. What? You've got to be kidding me. you got to be kidding me. Everyone here is in shock. And Carmella really thought she had her there. Really was expecting the count of three. Up uh high. -huh. Cross body from the top. Looking for the victory. And she breaks the count. You expect these pins to last much longer at this stage in the match. Oh, wicked kick to the lower back. Scouted by Ripley. Great response to Ripley there. Chop block. Brilliant. Right to the back of the knee. Heads out of the ring. What's next? Ooh, she responds with a counter. Oh, look at the mounted thrashing. Getting ugly in there. Out of control. Getting dangerously close to our desk. That's it. I'm out of here. Oh, man, by the hair. Hair whip. Carmella's pressing the advantage here. Carmella's really taking command here. Retaliated with a head turning clothesline. Hold on a second. Could be a matter of time. Submission being locked in. A well timed dodge. Sit out. Slam. And Ripley getting laid into there. Not a bad place to be in, but the longer this goes, the more trouble a superstar exposes themselves to. Ahead with the suplex. Boom! Fire with a straight shot there. Answering back. What more can these women have left? Where are they finding the energy? They must be deep into their reserves by now. Slugging away with everything they've got. Oh, that's a hard kick. She has to mind the 10 count. How insulting is that? Oh, man, by the hair. Hair whip. The hand wants the Dodie Dodie Universe to continue this thing. To the face. What a redirect. Oh, that'll rattle you. Giving the people what they want up close and personal. Yeah, but someone could seriously get hurt here, Michael. Bringing the action back to the ring now. 
the most beautiful woman in all of WWE, ladies and gentlemen. Kick to the gut. Here it comes. Riptide. No doubt Ripley just ended this. Rope breaks the hold there. Oh, man, by the hair. Hair whip. Counter. And now there's an opening. Carmella eludes that. Unbelievable what a move. Still showing a lot of signs of life in this one. Not done yet. Yeah, Carmella finding a way to get where she wants to be. A way into the driver's seat. She steers clear of that one. Takedown. it around for Carmella. And Carmella with a takedown looking for the pump. And she gets to the ropes. That's why always knowing where you are inside the ring is so important. Catches the leg. The leg is oh, oh man, right on the jaw. That'll ruin your day. She shoots up the top rope. Dangerous thinking. Watch out. Oh. We are looking to end this one right now. This will do it. Trying to get her to tap out. The submission is locked in. Tap deep. out. And for some reason, she lets go of the hold. Could have just been a tease of the potential agony that's yet to come. Soaring. She comes up empty. Oh, she just clocked her. Someone hold. She's looking for the win. No, she kicks out. Getting that shoulder up now is huge. Off the ropes. Oh, what a knee strike. This is just punishing, disrespectful. Oh, definitely hurts. Look for a schoolboy. Uh oh. It's a super kick. Carmella way up top. She looks hell bent on finishing things right now. From way up. Countered into a backbreaker. Hey, we're all getting free tickets to the gun show. Kick to the back. Whip back into the ring. Block the effort and cut them off with a shot to the gut. And Carmella with a takedown looking for it. Locked in. It's locked in. He's not going to settle for this. She's doing whatever she can to escape, and she does. Look at this going right after the left arm. Got to hurt. Oh, the arm taking the brunt of that. Uh oh. Reversal. Can she capitalize? Oh, straight forearm. Reversal. What a counter. Expected that one. Face buster first. Ripley is down, and she might be out. Ripley is fighting out with a series of. Will create separation. 
It's been a struggle for these competitors to find an end to this match. But the struggle's worth it. With every move you make, you hear this capacity crowd following you on that journey. Ripley sidesteps the attack. Everyone needs to get out of the way of this fight. This feels so unsafe. And a slap for the exclamation point. All right, back to it, returning to the ring. A defensive elbow to the gut ends that. Rhea Ripley with the rip time. Carmella's in crisis. Cover. Two. Oh, kicks out. Kicks out. Carmella may have just used up that last ounce of stamina to kick out there. And Ripley is stunned right now. So many opponents have fallen to that move, but not this one. Headed to the top rope. Lift off. Frog splash nailed it. This is why Ripley's a nightmare opponent. Absolutely capable. And what a win for Rhea Ripley tonight. Here is your winner, Rhea Ripley! Rhea Ripley has her hand raised. Ripley brought her brand of brutality to this match, and it paid off. And this begs the question, who can stop the Eradicator? The Apex Predator has arrived. The following contest is scheduled for one thumb, making his way to the ring from St. Louis, Missouri, weighing in at 275 pounds. He is the A rare third generation superstar. The Viper possesses greatness coursing through his veins. And despite his family legacy, Randy Orton has forged a path of his own as one of WWE's top superstars of all time. You can't allow Drew McIntyre to rip him from his comfort zone. He can't do that. No, this superstar has got to remember who he is and what brought him to the dance. From chosen one to number one. A man who has slain every competitor on his way to reach the mountaintop in WWE. Scotland, weighing in at 254 pounds, oh, yeah. the 
McIntyre's has been a journey of redemption, of making up for lost time. Drew has taken titles and main events by force. McIntyre has remained laser focused on striking down adversary after adversary. Yeah, and McIntyre's intensity is always off the charts. Drew McIntyre is ready for war. We've seen few superstars as cold-blooded as the Apex Predator, Randy Orton. There's something deeply... Oh, Kamora! The Kamora! Kamora locks cinched. Good luck getting out of this. I guess that's one way to do it. Hoist it up. Into the snap suplex. Oh, look at... Strike! Uh-oh! And he's able to counter. Takes a big hit. Ah, oh, the reversal by Orton. Oh, ooh, stomp to the tummy. Tummy. Solid contact from the Viper. And both athletes showing that they have each other's number. Sharp kick. He just barely dodges. Up and the spine buster. Randy Orton, one of the most calculating superstars in all of WWE. Corey, do you think he has a game plan in place for Drew McIntyre tonight? Of course he does, Cole. He's not going to wing it against someone like Drew, especially after all the times Drew's come out on top against him. Randy's going to play this whole thing close to the vest, and we may not even realize what his master plan is until it's already happened. Uh-oh, uh-oh! So hard into the ring post. This is just establishing dominance, followed by the stomp. Things are getting risky. This will not end well. On the apron! The hardest part of the ring. That was worse than being hit by a cinder block. Oh my gosh! And he gets delivered back into the ring. Yeah. He's taking this to the floor now. doesn't look as venomous after that move. Yeah, and after that, McIntyre looked like he's been putting in the extra work. And now gets tossed into the ring. Oh, yeah. oh this is not going to be pretty. Oh, no. His shoulders are down. stops the ref's count. I didn't think this match was close to over. Put it in position now. Alvarez presentation of power there. Just a perfect mix of pure power and bad intentions. And a big time knee drop. The amount of wait, 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 wait. And it's Randy Orton able to stop count. Kicking out there really has to make his opponent question his game plan. Steering attention to the neck. Oh, Ooh, stop to the tummy. Tummy? Well, this is just ruthlessness personified. He's trying to rearrange the face. Showing absolutely no mercy at all. What an onslaught. Ooh, focused attack on the neck. Orton now dictating the pace here. Yeah, we know what an in-control Orton means, and it is nothing good for Mac. The cover. Ah, oh, what a victory. What a win. 
And how about a little show of respect? How about that? You got to appreciate that. Even in defeat, wanting to shake the... Nuh-uh. The winner's the got bricks, no kid. time. Hit the bricks, kid. Real classy winner.